are dating or trying to date now, they fucked up in the past. So go go to their ex and ask their ex what was fucked up about them, what they do to fuck up. I'm telling you, very few people are as good as me. Very few people are as good as the Honorable Deacon. He already said he's fucked up, but I'd say he's a great guy, Tory. Very few people are as great as the Governor Vince Wright. Very few people are as great as the microwave. Very few people are great as great as KC and everybody else. And ain't nobody as great as the number one chief rocker. And Mandelion's great. All of us are great when you talk about X Squad. But uh, there's one person who says that he's number one, and that's the chief rocker. He's number one and the damn and the damn chief. So, and ladies, what I'm trying to say is, unless you meet someone who's number one and the chief, the person you got is fucked up. Uh-huh. Tree says, let's be honest. We see who people are early on, but we settle. That's the truth. We settle. We know damn well something isn't right, usually, but we think we can change a man. Honorable Deacon, do women think they can change a man? Yes, the fuck they do. Do they try to change a man? Yes, the fuck they do. I'm going to tell y'all this. I'm leaning into the microphone right now. Some of y'all know Boss Lady. Boss Lady has changed me. I used to be a buck wild motherfucker. Boss Lady's changed me. But I'm coming out of my shell. I'm drinking gangsta juice. Alright. Uh, Honorable Deacon, have you ever tried to change a lady? Um, uh, for the better, yeah. yeah. For the better? Yeah. Why would you be with somebody? Why would you be with somebody that was fucked up? Giving them basic instruction on life, you know. Giving them a little game every now and then, so they'll be a little bit better off if I do decide to go somewhere else. And I did, obviously, but you know, I don't want to leave certain people. I don't want to leave fucked up in the world for the world to really beat them up, take them in the head, what have you. How how long do you maintain that philosophy, though? How long do you think that you can change someone for the better by? By exposing them to different things, by sharing part of your vibration with them. I mean, do you is that? I mean, is that shit you were doing in your thirties, in your late twenties? Are you still trying to do uh, that, or would you do it forever? I was doing it in my early thirties. I would say it had to be like in my early thirties. Now I, I, I let people do whatever the fuck they want to do. Mm-hmm. Got too much going on in my life. Mm-hmm. There goes Sluggo talking about some hormones. Okay, so uh, let's see. We got some comments in the chat. Let's see. Everybody's applauding. Trees comment. Thorny saying that people can be delusional about changing another adult. So true. So true. Um, somebody's trying to call in, but we're still having problems with the phone lines. Tree says that she heard over the weekend that women think when they say I do, it's going to change who that ninja was yesterday. Uh, it won't. You change because you wanted to. Uh, Tree, this is where I get to jump in and say, I heard that ninja show, uh, yesterday. That ninja show last month. That ninja show the week before. And you're right. That ninja ain't never going to change. He ain't never going to eat no potato salad. Okay. Shout out to everyone who will be at TDSS2 in Atlanta this weekend. The governor, Vince Wright out of Minnesota, is saying that he is going to have a toast down there for several tree says that people cannot change others only ourselves 
Um, we expect the First Lady of Minnesota to join us shortly. Okay. Angie, the First Lady Wright, the wife of the governor, the sports governor of Minnesota, Vince Wright, has appeared. And, and welcome, Angie Wright. You can't, first of all, let me say one thing about Angie Wright that you might not know, the Honorable Deacon. Angie Wright was a all-state, all-conference, all-region, probably all-American basketball player in high school. Um, and at some point during their marriage, the governor got jealous and threw all her shit away. So she doesn't have the certificates and the all that kind of stuff. But so I just like to recognize that because sometimes if your spouse won't lift you up, those around have to lift you up. All right. So the first lady says you can't change anyone. If you think you can, if you think you can, you're going to be disappointed. You can offer them insight. It's up to them to actually take it, but sometimes they take it. Indeed. Indeed. So, LaToya in Milwaukee, I guess our, our, in summary, our response to your question is, or your topic is, we don't think the, we don't think the man really had an interest in you from the beginning. Um, you know, unfortunately. Okay. You know, let go and be you. Fuck it. Okay, next one comes from Selma, Alabama, again, ready for this one, here's a good one, I keep asking if you're ready, but I know you're always ready, Honorable Deacon, how do married people think they can watch their spouses and their side chicks too, for example, her friend is married, but he always rides by her house. When he sees a car, he starts calling. So he's trying to police his house and her house too. What say you, Honorable Deacon? Apparently she's giving him that authority. What's that? It was breaking up. Apparently she has given him that authority. Ooh. She ain't checked him. Right. And he's constantly checking her. Ooh. Everybody passed the collection plate around because the Honorable Deacon says something profound there. Look. You didn't check him. You are allowing that man to do that. Keep preaching, Honorable Deacon. That's the reality of it. I mean, some people, some men are made for a concubine, and mm-hmm. some men desire to have a concubine. Some some men have already been through that phase. Some have yet to become. Some have yet to come to that phase. So and me... apparently, he wants a concubine, and he's not going to take no for an answer. Let me let me go back and say something about tree. Tree in here cursing, cussing. Tree, don't be cut. Tree, tree, you get loose every now and then, okay? You come off trying to be all sweet and innocent, and then you get in here and drop an f bomb in the chat room. Hit the hit the comment bubble, and you guys can enter the chat room and and see uh, Tree type the words that would be coming out of her foul mouth. Um, I'm settled in, and I will be able to fuck with y'all a little more. Tree. Fuck with us. Fuck with us. Because we fucks with you. Do the right thing, Tree. Mm-hmm. All right. Yes, and everybody follow the show. Follow the show. Uh, so, Tree took issue to what you were saying about concubine. Go ahead. What were you saying about concubine? Honorable Deacon. Some men feel they deserve it, and they go after that, basically. Um, mm-hmm. And he's putting her in a situation where she is a part of his concubine. And he has to tell, he has to make sure that his women are okay. Yeah, and, 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 and the great man, 
said pimping ain't easy, but it's something that I got to do. I heard that somewhere. Okay, so the thing is, he's he's trying to manage, but he can't manage. A great man, uh, Gerald Shirley said, study wrong, study long. Now, some of y'all may have heard other people who say that, said study wrong, study long. But I'll tell you, they got it from the great Gerald Shirley. Okay? So, my thing is, if he is studying what is going on at your address, your direction, Jody going to be coming out the back door. Or Jody can park his car in your driveway. And Jody could be up the road in Aloysius' car. You and him up the highway. Okay? Shout out to Tiana. Tiana, we're having problems with the phone lines tonight. It's uh, Chief Jersey's fault, as always. So uh, we'll we, we get that fixed, out, fixed over the weekend. And we'll chime back in. But we definitely missed you. Okay. So, that answers that one. Now we're going to get in. We have a whole slew of topics or questions posed by Yanni from Gary, Indiana. So, number one from her is, why do, new peop- why do people in new relationships... Oh, we don't know about that one. Okay. How do you know when it's time to get serious in the relationship? No. Honorable Deacon, you you could define getting serious as, you know, letting them perform oral favors upon you. Well, first of all, Honorable Deacon, how do you define getting serious? Um... When all, when all attention is directed towards that particular person, when you feel that you need them with you day and night. Um, day and night. When you're able you- to, I, I guess, share some of your fun with that particular person and not be too offended by it. Share and funds. And so I'm thinking this bitch should be giving me money. You know, man, all people have to say that. Um... Honorable Deacon, you would share you would share your funds with the, with the lady. Uh, let's not go too far with it, but okay. Uh, the thing the this is hypothetical, then. Uh, it has to be years before things like that happen. Years of knowing that person, years of actually caring for them in every particular way you possibly could. Um, Sluggo says that when you pass gas in the same room, you're getting serious. Yeah, I, I, I think it goes to back back to what you were saying, Honorable Deacon. Uh, there's uh, it depends on each individual person. Different people you have different different people you have different uh, ways of gauging what's serious, you know. What struck me in, in, with what you said is spending day and night with them. There's some people that... Wanting to, wanting to be around a particular person, you know, whatever. Not necessarily just all day, all night, do the same thing, but, you know. Sometimes you don't want to be seen during the daytime with them. Well, that's the wrong On, person, then. Yeah, exactly. And women recognize that. If a man doesn't want to be seen with you in the daytime, it's the wrong person. Now, Southern Bell, Southern Bell, Yolanda out of Shreveport, says that it's not serious until he asks you to marry him. Bullshit. Honorable Deacon, can you be serious with a woman without marrying them? Yes, I can. takes a long ass time but yes yeah. and I guess that's when a lot 